नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श सु वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसाइटी हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड मैथमेटिक्स फर्स्ट चैप्टर आवर नेशनल फ्रूट मैंगो डू यू नो विच इज आवर नेशनल एनिमल इट इज टाइगर isn't it then uh, do you know which is our national bird our national bird is peacock is peacock then uh, do you know which is our national flower okay you do one thing you try to find out the answer of this question which is our national flower find it out with yourself same way our national fruit is mango and today we are going to discuss many things about mango in this chapter before starting this chapter let me ask you one more thing you must have enjoyed mango in the last month in the month of june isn't it okay let's discuss about mango see here कानजी सूणे कोयल केरी कुंज केरी बगीचे नाउ कानजी सूणे कानजी लिशंस कोयल केरी कुंज अकू कूज केरी बगीचे मैंगोज इन ओर्चेड काउंट टोटल लेटर्स ऑफ दिस पोएम गुजराती दिस इज एक्चुअली गुजराती पोएम एंड काउंट टोटल लेटर्स there are five letters in first row see this is the first row and there are five letters in the first row kanji sune total five letters then there are five letters in the last row this is last row keri bagiche in also you can see total five letters are there isn't it along with seven letters in the middle row this is a middle row and do you see can you see there are seven letters koyal 3 keri plus 2 5 kunj plus 2 7 total seven letters are there in the middle row this poem of three lines is called haiku is called haiku it is a poetic form of japan and it is written in just 17 letters its formation is 5 plus 7 plus 5 here given below is another haiku see another haiku is there and see whether the formation is right or not in first line there must be five letters see mithi sugandhi chhu sorathni keri hu chhu केसर इन फर्स्ट लाइन कैन यू सी टोटल फाइव लेटर्स आर देयर इज एंड इट देन इन द सेकेंड लाइन कैन यू सी टोटल सेवन लेटर्स आर देयर एंड इन द लास्ट लाइन कैन यू सी फाइव इज देयर सो दिस इज अनदर हाइकू मीठी सुगंधी आई एम स्वीट एंड फ्रेग्रांट छू सोरठनी केरी मैंगो फ्रॉम सोराठ हूँ छू केसर i am kesar so this is another haiku now do you know any poem or story about mangoes in fact in gujarati there are many lok geet in gujarati about mango and uh, mango trees uh, let me tell you in dandiya people used to sing sona ni sakde bandhyo hindodo amba ni dal and you must have heard that another kachi keri ne angur kala isn't it so these are the songs which we know very well some pictures of mangoes given here made by children which shape come to your mind when you think about mangoes 
Draw a picture as given below using different shapes of mangoes. You have thought about so there must be any some picture or any picture about mango in your mind and this is that must be like this see it may be like uh, this one isn't it or maybe like this one it may be like this one or it may be like this one isn't it so you also must have drawn many times mango isn't it now see here there is a mango tree in which many mangoes are there isn't it and here are some pictures of mangoes actually it is a design so first of all what you will do you will draw a mango shape of mango or mangoes now let's go further in sanskrit mango is called amra actually it is amra phal amra different shapes of amra are often commonly seen in embroidery work paintings or jewelry designs see this is something like embroidery work this is something like painting and in jewelry this kind of shapes are there is to be there observe the picture on curtains mats or any other things and find mangoes of different colors and shapes draw mangoes of different type with different designs so what you will do there are two activities you are going to perform first of all you will observe everywhere whether any shape of mango on the curtains on the mats or any other things are there or not and second thing draw mangoes of different types with different designs you also will draw mangoes of different type in different designs Talala Taluka of Gir Somnath district is famous for kesar mangoes worldwide. The quality of land ecology are suitable for growing mangoes. So, Talala actually it is very nearby to us and it is in the district Somnath and where kesar mangoes they used to grow. The quality of land ecology are suitable for growing mangoes. Actually, there is that kind of land so that a mango tree can grow very well. Talala can be called the capital of kesar mangoes. Why? Because kesar mangoes they used to grow kesar mango in Talala district. That is why Talala can be called the capital of kesar mangoes. The plantation of mango are called Ambawadi. They are lifeline of this region. The plantations of mangoes are called Ambawadi. So wherever in the farm trees are grows, grown of kesar or any mangoes, then that land are called, that region are called Ambawadi. You must have heard Ambeavya Mor Varta Ke Supor. A mango tree initially bears flowers. In the initial stage, the mango trees bears flowers. In a more ke vai. Ambeavya Mor. Amba majhe mor ave e. In the season of spring, and it used to be in the month of February or in the first stage of uh, uh, March, in the first week of March, in that season, initially that mango tree bears flowers. After that, it bears mango fruits. Mangoes are picked from trees and peeled on the ground. Then they are 
segregated and packed in different boxes as per their quality these boxes are sent to the marketing yard by this time we are going to uh, finish our this part that is first part we will discuss something more about this chapter in the next part that is second part thank you for joining us take care of yourselves and we will meet you in the next session Thank you.